Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in our last video we created this sort of underlying hover effect. Nice little effect to have on your site. Today we're going to do something similar. We're going to do a double line. So we've got one on top and one on the bottom. Something like this here. I've made the line a little skinnier there. And then for our active page, if I just click on a new page, you can see it highlights the active page with a similar double line right there. Okay, well let's get started. I'll quickly undo what I've got going on here and we'll start from scratch. So if I refresh this page now, it should go back to normal. Okay, there we go. And to do this today, I'm going to be writing a bit of CSS, but don't let that put you off. Any CSS I write today, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it and modify it how you wish. So let's get started. I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. Many browsers have this now. If not, you can download Google Chrome for free. So I'm going to hit one of the links and inspect. And it brings up my Chrome Inspector tools here. And I'm really looking at the top menu right now. If we go back up here, let's take the responsive toggle off. When I hover over it, you can see that top menu spreads from the words or the links all the way down to the bottom of the header there. I don't want that. I want it to be a sort of fixed sort of height. So let's do that first. So we're going to be work working on the top menu right here. I'm just going to go in. And I'm going to give it a height. And let's say give it 30 pixels. I'm also going to give it the important class because we're overriding some styles here. I don't like to use important unless I have to, but we have to in a lot of these cases. That'll make sure that it overrides the, the default styles here. Now if I hover over it, you can see it's only 30 pixels tall. But we've got a line at the bottom of it that I don't really want. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's there's a, a sort of couple pixel gray line just on the bottom of it. I don't need that. So I'm going to push that down by adding some margin on the bottom. And if you watch yesterday's video, you'll know what we're doing here. And I think I used 24 pixels. Let's just see 24 pixels yesterday. And that seemed to work. Yeah, it's disappeared off the end there, but it, it's not made it grow at all. So let's just go in there. You can highlight the box and you can roll up and down with your mouse. See that little line appearing? I don't know if you can see it or not. Just roll it till it's just off the end of the screen there. That seemed to work perfectly for me. Okay. Now, because we're using the inspector, if I refresh this, that'll all go away and it'll go back to how it was. So we need to write it to make it permanent. So let's affect the class itself. It's an ID top menu and it's right there. The hashtag tells us it's a CSS ID rather than a class. So I'll just copy that control C to copy once I've selected it. Now I'm going to go to my dashboard down to Divi to theme options and I'm on the general tab right here general tab right at the bottom there's a box for enter entering your custom CSS there's also the same box if you go into your theme customizer right here or appearance and customize will take you to the same place and we need to open and close some curly brackets give it a bit of space and then we'll paste in the code that we just wrote height 30, margin bottom 24. Now we've got our menu the size that we want it so we can add a little border top and bottom of it. Control, control C to copy, control V to paste in here. Now we want, want to actually work on our menu items. So if we go back here now and again I can just right click select one of these or just go down to it and we're going to be working on a menu item but the A so it's the class of menu item and the anchor tag so let's just quickly 
copy that and set, set it up. I'm just going to double click in here or you can just write it if your memory is good and you're good at typing. <laughs> And that's a class. Now, it's not a CSS ID, it's a class, because it said class there. All classes have to have a period or a full stop in front of them, and then the class name. And then we wanted to affect the anchor tag within that list item class. As you see, it says class there, menu item, and we want to affect the A or the anchor tag. So we just need to add an A onto the end of there. Let's open and close some brackets. And again, when we write the code, we'll put it inside here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some padding to it, top and bottom, just to make sure our lines when we add them have got equal space either side. So when we're on the, the anchor tag, we want to make sure that it's got the right amount of padding top and bottom to add our borders to. So I'm going to say padding. And if you give it two attributes, first one's going to be top and bottom. So I'm going to say five picks top and bottom. And the second one's going to be left and right. I don't need any left and right, so I'm going to put zero. And I'm also going to add the important to it. So let's just hover back over that. And as you can see, it's got a little bit of padding, the green top and bottom of it. And we can add our border on top of that. So let's just add and remember, I only want to see this border when we're hovering over it or it's on the active page. But to stop the menu jumping when we add that border, I'm going to add a transparent version of it on the non-hover state, which is what we're working on here. And let's give it a border. Top of two pixels, solid. I'll give it a color just so you can see it. And there it is up there. You can see it just above our home link right there. And I also want to do a border on the bottom. So let's do border bottom. And again, we'll do two pixels solid. And we'll give it a color just so you can see it initially. There we go. But I don't want that to be there unless we hover. And I also want it to be the same color as my little logo there. So I'm going to change those trans those reds to transparent. That way it'll take up the real estate. And so it'll stop the menu from skipping when we hover over it. Okay, so they're there. Actually, you can see them vaguely. Okay, they're there, but they're transparent. So the real estate is taken up. So let's copy this and paste it in our anchor tag class that we created earlier on. Control C to copy. Let's go back to our theme options and paste it in between the curly brackets where we left off. Fantastic. Now, to make these appear when we hover over it, I'm going to copy the whole thing. I'm going to copy the menu item A all the way down to the closing curly bracket there. Control C. Drop down a couple. Paste it in. Now right after the A with no space, after the anchor tag, no space, colon, and then no space, the word hover. If you put spaces in there, it won't work. And now I want to change the color from transparent to that blue color of the logo. So I've got a little color picker right here with my Chrome extensions. Let's go over here and get that color. And I'll copy it. And we'll change it on here. Now it's a hexadecimal number, so it has to have a hashtag in front of it. There we go. And similar from the one below. Okay, let's save those changes. Go back and refresh, refresh our page and see if this is going to work for us. We should see nothing initially. And when I start to hover over it, there we go. We've got our two little lines there. Now we could also change that text in there to the same color blue, which would be quite a nice idea. 
So let's do that. That's just a simple, we'll add just the word color, C-O-L-O-R, colon. And then I'll just copy that same color again. Paste it in there and a semicolon. All of your lines of code want to end with a semicolon. If they don't, if you write another line, it won't read that next line. So let's save that and see if that's now worked for us. And remember, don't worry too much about copying this on screen. I'll put it down below. You're welcome to use it as you wish. Just change your colors out and anything else you want there. So let's refresh this again and see if those links are going to change color as well as the border well no we haven't so let's add the important and save and we'll try that again there we go they're now changing to the blue color also now the light color right here that is if I take my mouse off of it that is the uh, highlight color that we've got in the theme customizer there you can go in there and change that if you want to but I think it's a nice idea to have our actual active page to have this effect on it so people know which page it's on so if I highlight that, it's the current menu item. It's a class and it's current menu item. And again, it's the anchor tag. So what we'll do is I'll copy this little class, current menu item. I'm just double clicking on it till it highlights and I can roll across the class that I want. These are all multiple classes. It's okay to have multiple classes, but we only really need this one. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back here and remember because it's a class, it has, a, has to have a dot or a period in front of it, and then the class name. And we want to affect the anchor tag that's attached to it. So let's open and close some curly brackets. And I'm going to steal pretty much everything here. Don't need the padding. Do need the border top and border bottom and the color. Let's save that. And that should complete our effect. Let's get our inspector out of the way. And refresh. Okay, and as you can see, our, high, our page that we're on is, all, is already highlighted now. Our hover effects are working. If I switch pages and move my mouse off, you can see the new page now has that. And our hover effects are still working. So we're good to go. So that's how to add a double line effect little bit of custom CSS to your menu up there. I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.